What's your excuse? How you doing, YouTube? This is Will from Will Development, and this is my 74th. Ooh, let me pop that cow now. This is my 74th weekly update. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing this trench coat and hat, it's because I have extraordinary body image issues. But you don't care about that. So I'll jump right into it. As you know, I ditched the scale. I'm basically just going by how I look and how I feel. I know I'm still sitting right around 180 pounds, which is what I wanted. Body fat, no idea. Stop checking. Really did. I'll be straight up honest with you. It feels like about 10 to 12 percent. That's a pretty big range, but that's what it feels like. <clears throat> And there is a motherfucking dog that won't shut the fuck up outside. And it's, it's, it, it must want to die because I swear to God, it has been going fucking nonstop for like an hour. And I've had to fucking stop and record this shit like four fucking times. I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again. I don't give a shit anymore. You don't like the fucking dog barking in the background? Get the fuck over it. There's nothing I can do about it. Deal with it. Okay? Because that's what I have to do about it. As you know, this week is a deload week for me in terms of workouts, so there's no one rep PR funsies this time around. Really just trying to nurse this, sh this shoulder and, and arm back to health. And I like to believe that the deloads have helped. I've done a lot of corrective stretching, well as a lot more foam roller work than I've ever wanted to do in my entire life in the last week. But that's what I have to do. So I'll jump into it. Did some squats. Here's some footage of me doing my squats this week. I always like to do my first set pretty quick, so I don't remember if I recorded my first set or not, but my first set I always like to do really quick of every exercise. Not in terms of speed, it's a controlled speed. Keeping form as best as I can, but basically not pausing anywhere throughout the movement. Trying to get as much blood and, and get my joints warmed up pretty quick. Some people say do the opposite. This is just the way I feel works better for my body. Figure your own shit out. I can't tell you without seeing you work. You know what I mean? Also hit overhead press, tried to keep it pretty light, uh, since that's where the initial damage was discovered. And uh, pushed it through, did what I always do when I do bodybuilding style. Basically recorded my four sets, four to five sets that I decided to do with the reps that I decided to do. And then I don't record how I tear off the weights and just go until there's nothing but the bar left and just drop sets over and over. Love doing it. I feel like it always helps, blah, blah, blah. Bench this week, again, only difference on bench is I am working towards getting my hands closer together, a more conventional or traditional style of bench, not so wide. <clears throat> Trying to get myself to use a fuller range of motion and really work on protecting my shoulder better when I bench because I think that may be where I stress it, not necessarily where I damage it, you know what I mean? And then deadlifts. Again, did them pretty quick. You see, I believe I recorded my first set. I really didn't uh, like my first set on deadlifts uh, today when I did them because I had my feet really far apart. Um, I always stand with my feet a little bit wider on deadlifts. And, and then what I do is I turn my ankles in and do kind of a, a, a toes pointed outward thing. Uh, it's just more comfortable for me uh, with my, my ankle mobility. It's just, uh, that's the way I feel like I generate the most force and stability throughout the floor, which is the most important part of the deadlift, really, is force. is the most important part of any lift, is, is force and stability. So that's what's comfortable for me. It also shortens the lift a little bit, having your legs turn, your toes turn, turned outward uh, from a technical side, in case you were wondering. And you know what? That's about it. Uh, but, oh yeah, to mention on my deadlifts, my next sets that I did do, I did basically bring my feet in a little bit more uh, to, to, you know, really work the, the movement a little bit, a little bit stricter. Just wanted to mention real quick before I uh, let this video go, and, you know, ask you the hardest question I think anybody can ask. The feedback I've gotten from King has been uh, very strong. You know, let me stop, okay. I understand I run a very small channel, I run a modest channel is what I tell people. But, you know, you can't look at things as small, you gotta look at things as percentages. 
if you had five dollars and then you just got ten dollars from somebody you got twice the amount of money you originally owned and you now have fifteen dollars so it, you gotta look at things like that you can't look at it like you know oh I only doubled my profits or something along those lines you gotta look at it the best case scenario you know if you went from one pound to two pounds that's doubling your weight you know what I mean God, I'm gonna kill this fucking dog I swear to God I love dogs, but this fucking thing, I just, I, I, I don't know what the fuck to do to it. <sighs> Maybe I'll throw a steak at it and I'll try to make it feel better. Maybe it's over. But I got some really good feedback from King, and, and like I said, if one person requests, at this point in my channel, because my channel is so small, if one fucking person asks me to do X, I will do it. Because I can, and I'm going to answer back. Uh, and I did. Somebody requested that I do a larger series, so what I'm going to do this Sunday is I'm going to sit down with the book and basically flip through it, uh, go over the notes I wrote down in each chapter, probably for fucking an hour, just sit here and just talk, which, hey, I like to do that. And then I'll cut it down to really, really short, like, six-minute videos and release them once a week on Sundays because, hey, I need channel consistency, so, you know, deal with it. And then probably after I release all those, I'll release the super cut of it at the end so you can sit down for an hour and watch it all the way through if you really feel like it. Other things to look forward to on the channel are a review of the weightlifting shoes that I bought about a year and a half ago, maybe about a year ago. I bought some weightlifting shoes as well as fat grips. I'm going to do a review on them. And I'm going to do a video about reviews. So. Look forward to that kind of stuff coming out in the next uh, couple weeks, because next week is the final episode of Will and Nate building an Atlas stone and filling some sandbags. So enjoy that. I'll link it down below the last week's episode, and look forward to next week's episode, but you're going to have to subscribe if you want to see it. If you don't subscribe, by clicking down here somewhere, then what's your excuse?